And talking health now, two years ago, Nigeria was hit with a virus that put the whole world on its knees. It was a time filled with grief and loss, and Adidoja Salama Deni took us, memory lane of, uh, took us down memory lane of the dangerous virus that refused to leave. Um, she will bring us this report now, and after this report, we'll have um, updates in business. Stay with us. Coronavirus disease 2019 caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, known as SARS-CoV-2, is still a global pandemic. From the wild type that started from Wuhan, the virus has continued to mutate. When it found its way into Nigeria via Lagos through an Italian man called David, many thought it would end there. But Yaba Infectious Disease Hospital became a destination with numerous people. If you do not have a need or a reason to leave your location, please stay at home. Mr. Governor is in complete control of the entire structure and the communication is moving back and forth at incredible speeds. Decisions are made almost instantaneously. During my interview with the Index case, David was unhappy as Nigeria would always remember him on every 27th of February, being the date that the country recorded its first COVID-19 case through him. It's a strange situation because uh, I, I was famous in a, in a foreign country uh, because uh, the first case, uh, I, I was also uh worried because uh, i i brought this uh, this virus uh, in nigeria and uh, and uh, for me it was uh, it was a pity to arrive in nigeria and uh, bring uh, this uh, this virus uh, with me and uh, but uh, i have only to 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 give thanks to Nigeria because uh, Nigeria helped me and the world, and every person was uh, very very kind very good uh, with me in March and April streets were empty gathering became forbidden mode of dressing also changed with face masks in trying to save others many frontline and essential workers lost theirs the world was confused. Denial for its existence led to more infections, more deaths, and more stress. With all this discomfort, all flattened in August 2020 until December 2022, when a second wave struck. This time, it was brutal with severe respiratory illness. <coughs> and the number of deaths climbed. At Yaba Isolation Center, many also lived to tell their stories. I am quite impressed, and this space is free. And then I get here and there's a whole system that works. It's hard to run a shop like this, but it works. And this is Nigeria. I want to come back here and spend a day and clean the floors because I didn't die. Then the third and fourth waves witnessed different variants. Now, more than 5 million people have died worldwide since its emergence from Wuhan, China. Total COVID-19 cases in Nigeria is now more than 250,000 with over 3,000 deaths. Lagos, the epicenter, has a share of about 100,000 cases so far with more than 700 deaths. Over 5,000 were treated, managed and discharged from isolation centers. As experts get to know much more about the disease and how to treat it, the end still isn't in sight. December 2020, the Pfizer vaccine was introduced for emergency use, followed by Moderna vaccine and AstraZeneca. Now, more than 54% of the global population has had at least one vaccination. In Nigeria, more than 7 million people have been vaccinated, with Lagos recording over 800,000 vaccinations. As Omicron appears to cause less severe disease than Delta, its behavior has rekindled hope that it could be the start of a trend that eventually makes the virus milder, like a common cold. 
as many guidelines are relaxed and people are going about their normal lives. Experts are warning that Omicron won't be the last version of the coronavirus to worry the world as more variants are likely to surface. Adedoja, Salam Adeni, to the Lagos.